Hey guys, uh, here's another video um, on this asymmetrical regaging for two opposing magnetic fields, okay, using uh, three coils, basically the input coil, two opposing coils, okay. Uh, I'm going to go over the measurements on how I'm measuring this now. I really think this is a successful experiment. I know I've had some trouble in the past with my measurements and you guys have all been questioning and critiquing, which I appreciate. Um, I definitely had some problems with my old scope, there's no question, there's some issues there. Um, but I have a brand new scope here, okay, this one's a little bit nicer, it's a thousand megahertz. Brand new probes, uh, I've checked the calibration on this with my power su supply to my meter, okay? So if we look right now, I've got 25.01 volts there. My meter says I got 24.99, okay? Um, I've changed the measurement blocks. I took a, it's a advice on this. I think it's a good idea um, because now I don't have to worry about the, the five watt max on this measurement block anymore. I've got a 50 watt one ohm resistor. And what I've done is I've, I've actually changed all my measurement blocks now. I've got one on each of them. Um, I've, I've done that on this side as well because I wanna make sure that the impedance between the L2 and L3 are the same. So I think that's important. The thing that, the reason Chris has the 0.1 ohm resistor here, which makes sense, is you don't want this resistor really to affect your circuit. Having the one ohm does affect the circuit. There's no question, it makes a difference uh, in this circuit. Um, so that's why I'm trying to just keep the impedance the same between these two output coils or similar. Um, the other thing that I've done differently, just a little, I wasn't really ready to share this bit with you guys yet, um, but I added a variable capacitor to the L1, so the input coil. Um, I find it helps me, ch it's a lot easier to tune because remember, I, I really strongly believe that we need to make, set our, set our frequency on a harmonic of the length of wire, okay? So we, it's important to make sure, because we, we, we have antennas here, so we have to set the frequency. We don't want to mess with the frequency. That's, that should be a fixed item. Um, as far as as far as I can tell anyway so I'm messing with the capacitance here with a variable capacitor um, I think it makes sense to do that that way um, so if you can see here the measurement block is the power in okay so that power is coming straight from my power supply okay straight into this cross this block it's going through a smoothing capacitor it's going through the MOSFET okay it's feeding the L1 coil and then I have the my variable capacitor here in parallel with the L1 all right um, I'm, I'm putting in this I'm putting about a 35 percent duty cycle into this thing which is quite a lot um, so let's turn it on so I can just show you the the wattage that's going into this thing all right so if I turn the power on all right so you can see we've got this light there's very bright. I think it's actually over, overlit, to be honest. Um, if we look at our, our scope now, I have the maths function set up, okay? A, A times B. Uh, the average is 11 point, what is it, 12, 11.9 watts there. It fluctuates, it'll go between like 10 and 11, up to 12, so there's a bit of fluctuation. My power supply will stay steady you can see that it says 11.5 watts okay and remember that's just on this this uh, the uh, 25 volts in I'm not taking into consideration the 5 volts that is just feeding the board all right but we can add that in later but right now if we just look at that we got 11.5 watts and then here it says I got 11.8 so I think we can safely say that you know, my power supply is basically saying the same thing as what my oscilloscope is saying, all right? So let's, uh, let's now take these probes off the input power, okay? All right, 
this is the and I'm gonna put the current this is going across the 1 ohm uh, 50 watt resistor all right I'm gonna put the voltage directly across the bulb okay because I think it's best to measure straight across the load all right all right okay and I have I have the I actually have the voltage sorry the current inverted right now uh, you can see if I go to channel 1 it isn't the invert is on that gives me the positive all right I can change it back to the other way it'll be negative oh, turn it back on again all right okay so right now you can see we have an average there wattage or mean should I say is what is that 25.8 watts okay so nearly 26 watts okay that is what is going across that 1 ohm 50 watt resistor and the voltage is measured directly across the, the load okay the input you can see here hasn't changed it's well it actually went down a teeny bit on the uh, 5 volt uh, that's driving the board but still we got 11.5 watts so let's just say 13.5 uh, okay 13.5 watts going in all right that's what's powering everything here and we know and we can see 25 plus watts is measured in this side of the circuit all right um, one thing I, I, I will show you it's best to use this bulb for this so I'm gonna just turn this on well this is only a 14 watt bulb so it's a, it's a little bit too bright uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how helpful it is to have a variable capacitor. So if I just, let's just take this off. So basically it's like zero capacitance there. But you watch what happens when I hit the sweet spot here. I mean, you, there's actually a couple of resonant points, but you, you watch that it, it really screams up when I hit the, boom. Like that, that's a huge difference, boom. Um, and so having the variable cap really is helpful uh, to make this, this work. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you that. I think this is a successful experiment. If you still think that I'm not measuring this correctly, um, let me know. Because I, if I am, I don't know what I'm doing wrong at this point. Um, I think it's a successful experiment of asymmetrical regaging. We have an input coil. We have two opposing coils. And... I think uh, this is probably as simple as you can make it to show the principle of how this is supposed to work. And uh, if you have any comments, please let me know. All right, cheers guys.